Hello everyone, welcome back to Domaya. So this is the second video of this Linux playlist and in this video I'm going to show how AWS management console looks like then we will see what is EC2 instance. So EC2 instance nothing but a virtual server in which we are going to perform all our Linux commands. So then once we are done with the EC2 instance then we will see how you can launch it once we are uh, done with the EC2 instance or the virtual server then we will see how you can access or connect that virtual server with your operating system if you are a using if you are a window user or a mac os user then we will see how you can connect that virtual server with our operating system so that we can perform all the tasks so without any delay let's get into it Okay friends, so I have already talked you what is the context of this video. So before get into it, I'll tell you, you first need to create your one EC2, not a EC2, but a AWS account. So there are multiple videos you can get into the internet or the YouTube how to create your AWS account. So I'm not wasting any time to how to create your account. That's a very basic information, a very basic action you have to take to perform this task and make your own account. So to simply uh, first, we have to log in AWS account. Once you are get or uh, made your AWS account, you will get some login credential. Using those credential, you can simply get into the get into your AWS account. So first, I'm going to log in. So simply, I will write AWS login. So similarly, you can get into it. Or if you have any particular website that you have already bookmarked, so you can directly get into that. So I'm going to type this AWS login here. I can type sign into the login. So it is uh, now working okay so already i have submitted or saved my credentials over here so see what are the important points we will do it parallelly so first you have to log in into your aws account so this aws account firstly we are going to use only one aws service that is ec2 instance so many people may not know about what is ec2 instance so ec2 instance nothing but a virtual server means if you are a window user means the local machine that you are using it is window operating system loaded on that so you can launch any of the server like if you wanted to work on the linux mac os window or any other particular instance or the operating system you can simply launch it in the aws account and connect with your operating system and you can work on that so ec2 instance nothing but the virtual server provided by the amazon so I hope it is clear now. And what is AWS? AWS is nothing but a cloud provider. Cloud provider means they are providing different type of services. You can simply use those services and pay the Amazon for using those services. So this is a AWS dashboard. And uh, if you are the first timer logging into your AWS account, so how you can find it? Simply go to the search bar and type EC2. So once you type the EC2, you can get this option. And once you click on that, you will redirect it to this EC2 dashboard. I hope everything is clear till now what we are going to do next so here you can see instance running so if i cross this then i have two instance already but i'm to make this tutorial very simple and very useful for all the beginners i'm going to launch one ec2 instance in front of you guys so to launch a new instance uh, here you can see the launch instance icon so simply you have to click on that button so it will redirect you to a different page where you have to set your all configuration based on your requirement to make it very simple i simply give a name that uh, i see like uh, linux 2 okay so i simply write a name linux 2 here different type of ami my emi or this is also emi emi stands for amazon machine images so different type of images if you wanted to use linux mac os ubuntu window red hat so everything is available here so to make it very simple i'm going to select this amazon linux you can also do it same here you have to click on the free tier eligible option that is amazon linux 2 ami this will be the free tier eligible so now go to the down here you can type different type of instance type so these machines or these images work with the different instance there are multiple type of instance there are like different maybe more than 30 instances are available over here so i'm going to use this free tier eligible that one means t2 micro we are going to do because this is free version and you don't have to pay anything for that that is a come under the free tier eligible so now this is a very important point please pay attention over here if you are a first timer or you are launching a new instance here you have to create a new key pair so whenever you launch a new instance please keep this key pair in very uh, safe place where you can launch your or you can connect your ec2 instance with your local server with the help of this key pair so never ever forget to download this so here i'm going to create a new one so you can give to the name of this keyword like i'm also giving the name linux2 here you have to select rsc option dot pem5 if you are using this party version party third party application then you can download this dot ppk otherwise go to this dot pem so i recommend you to go with this dot pem create a new key 
click on this and it will show you to download so linux 2.pem so i simply downloaded it into my local system so don't forget to perform this task okay so here are some basic configuration create a security group is if you are already working with a different type of security group so you can also use that existing security group but the first user or you are a first login user of this account then definitely you go to the create a new user here simply for this particular um, playlist i'm allowing this ssh traffic and the https traffic this is also not necessary for now but yeah i'm allowing this http also so here you can uh, select the anywhere once you are working with the organization then you can down put their custom ip address or my ip address so these are different things you will get to know once you will learn more about the ec2 instance so everything is now cool here number of inst instances that i want to launch is one and there are some basic configuration that i have already done it so you can preview these configuration over here and simply click on this launch instance so we have done all the configuration we have initiated to launch a new instance over the aws account it will take approx three to four minutes to get into the like running state so we will wait for that so once you click on that you will get an instance id you simply click on this it will redirect you to the next window and uh, here you can see its status it's which status it will be so it is now instant state is pending it will be here will be running and the status check will be two by two once it is two by two then only we can use it meanwhile it is launching i'm going to tell you if you are a window if you have a system where window operating system is installed on that so you have to use a third party software so there is multiple list there are a bunch of list of third party application that you can use but i personally use this one this mova x term so this is very cool and very colorful interface so i like it but most of the people use party p u double t y you can download it or this is a very good option so what you have to do you have to go to the google and download you have simply write download mova x so you can simply go to that uh, website this one and here you can download the free version that is a free version home edition you can simply download it and install it once it is installed you can get the icon like this so we will wait to how to like uh, it will be become in running state then we will proceed further and i'll tell you how you can connect with your mac os if you are a mac os user then you don't need to use any third party software you can simply open your terminal and connect this instance or your terminal so let's check is now you can see instance state is running but the state check is initializing it will take one more minute it will be two by two health check so meanwhile we can simply refresh it and okay meanwhile it is coming into the two by two status check i'll explain some other information to you guys so like what is the changes we have done once we are in uh, launch this instance so whatever changes we can make here we can update the security group update the network configuration and for that here you have to go below or uh, here you can go click on the security this is the security group once you click on this it will redirect to the security page i'll tell you how here you can see it will redirect you to next security group page where you can edit your security group means if now you don't want to access this instance over the internet you can configure your uh ec2 instance based on your requirement means if you want to access this instance with certain type of specific ip address then you can also customize this so here is the inbound rule outbound rule we will talk about it further but here you can understand once you launch your instance we can update the security group i hope it is clear and let's see it is health check is done or not yeah now you can see it is two by two check passed so okay so first i'll tell you if you are a mac os so you don't need to anything you don't need to download any third party software you just need to select this instance okay open your mac os terminal go to the download folder where you have downloaded your key now come to the this dashboard select that instance that you recently launched click on this connect option here you can see ssh once you are into the that download directory then you have to copy this ch mode change permission 400 linux 2 simply copy it paste it into your terminal and run it once you are done then come uh, copy this example option here you can simply click it command copy it paste into your terminal i'm talking about the mac os user and simply run it and your virtual server will be connected with your system but here i'm going to show you how you can connect this ec2 instance with your operating system that is window okay so simply what you need to do once you downloaded this open this mobile x term okay so you just need one information from this instance see i have used many ec2 instance already so there is a list but if you are logging first time it will be blank for you to connect your ec2 instance with your operating system means with your local machine that is window local machine you have to go to the session go to the ssh here you have to remote host so here you have to go to your instance this is your instance 
that you wanted to connect copy this public ipv4 okay simply copy this paste it in your remote host specify name ec2 user you have to give it ec2 user click on the advanced ssh option use private key and simply you have to upload that private key that i have downloaded linux 2.pem so simply open it and it will be uploaded and click on the okay so what is SSS? SSS basically a secure connection means what is the purpose of that? I have already explained if you have a virtual server and you want to connect it with your operating system, with your local machine operating system, then you have to do the SSH. For Windows user, you have to download a third party tool. You, there are multiple tools, but I personally use mobile system. You can also refer this. And if you are a Mac OS user, then you can do the same thing with the terminals. You don't need to download anything extra okay so now you can see amazon linux to ami we have successfully connect our ec2 instance with the local machine means with the op linux operating system so all like all the linux command like simply i'll tell you like ls minus al this is a linux command you can simply type it and it is running successfully so i hope you got all the basic ideas what is aws what is ec2 instance how you can launch the ec2 instance in the aws account and how can you connect the ec2 server means your virtual server with your local machine either it is a windows or a mac os so i hope this video is completely clear to you still you have any doubt you can comment below or you can reach out to us and please don't forget to check our description box there are multiple useful links that may be updated time by time so kindly check this and everything is clear you got some basic idea about that please like this video subscribe to our channel for such videos and there are approximately 14 to 15 video will be uploaded for this linux playlist so see you there thanks for watching